Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight we are featuring an interview with a very peculiar looking gentleman. Today on something completely different, we have the real story of Jack and the Beanstalk, a fundraising adventure gone wrong, and some wild weather. But first start with some groundbreaking news, literally. This afternoon, chaos reigned at FMD Stadium Palmerston North, where it appears a buckethead hating citizen tried to blow up the Manoa Turbos rugby team. The helicopter that delivers the match ball to the stadium before each game became the target when a bomb was discovered contained in the rugby ball. Thankfully on board was a fast thinking young turbo fan who managed to save the day by kicking the ball at the open helicopter door where it exploded in mid-air. We now cross live to Pumps North where our reporter Mackenzie Walker is on the scene with this unlikely hero. Hi, I'm Mackenzie and here I have one lucky young man or two supporter, Sam Stewart, and his parents, Debbie and James. Hi Sam, thanks for joining us today. So Sam, can you explain why you're in the helicopter? Each week, Manawatu Rugby runs a contest, and this week, I won. You get to bring the ball to the game in a helicopter. It's really cool. How did you become suspicious that something wasn't right with the match ball? The ball started to shake and make a ticking noise. Then it started to say, Bucketheads, no more. Bucketheads, no more. So I kicked it high up out of the helicopter, and it blew up seconds after. Debbie and James, how do you feel towards your son's heroic actions? Oh, I'm so proud of my little Sammy. He is so smart with his actions. Well, I taught him everything he knows. Soon he'll be representing the Manawatu two turbos, then the Hurricanes, then the All Blacks. He's going to be the future in Cruden. Thanks, guys. That's all from me, live from Turbo Country. Now over to you, Sean in the studio. An interesting interview, thanks Mackenzie. And now for something completely different. It all started out as a normal day for Huanui School pupils last Wednesday. But it soon turned to fear and unbelievable sights, as Room 3 were completing their fundraising adventure to run the distance to Wellington around the school field. A total of 164 kilometres. After two hours, the Huanui children were about to complete their 800th lap when the ground started to shake and cracks appeared. Many of the students believed that an earthquake similar to the Christchurch 7.1 magnitude was happening. The earth then opened up and a giant dinosaur appeared and told the bewildered students to stop running over his grave. The children reckon they have witnessed a miracle, but some people are sceptical and believe that after running for that long, pupils of Huanui School have become delusional. We cross over to our reporter, Sean Ryan, at Huanui School. Thanks, Sean. I'm here with student Alana Wright and Principal Brenda Lee. So, Alana, what, did you, what were you doing while the earth was starting to shake? Well, I was running my lap for Team Yellow and I was just passing Daniel when the earth opened and a monster appeared. Daniel screamed and tried to use me to protect him. Ha, <laughs> and I'm a girl. So it sounds rather exciting and scary at the same time. What do you believe caused this astronomical event to occur. Nobody can be sure, but he did say we were running over his grave. Oh, oh, I uh, it reminded me of Kesha's song Dinosaur. Thanks Alana. Now Brenda, you did not witness the event. What makes you believe the students? Well, here at Illinois School, we teach our kids to be honest and respectful. I, I behold much truth within my children, with the pupils of my school. And I expect them to tell the truth at all times. And we're out of time for this Dinosaur Discovering School. Over to you, Nicole. Thanks, Sean. And now for something completely different. Jack of the Beanstalk is a very famous story that has been told millions of times to young children. But it has become the centre of controversy when Peter Jackson announced recently his decision to make Jack and Beans look into a blockbuster movie here in Wellington. It has appeared that the famous Jack had a friend called Sammy, who actually discovered the Beanstalk and climbed the Beanstalk first. Our on-the-spot reporter, George Wheeler, caught up with Sammy outside the weather cave in Miramar today and uncovered a very interesting tale 
they could change the storyline, Beanstalk line forever. Thanks, Nicole. I'm Georgia Wheeler, and joining me now is Sammy, the girl who really discovered the Beanstalk. So, Sammy, why have you decided that now is the time to tell the truth about Jack and the Beanstalk? Well, Jack and I have been best friends since preschool, and I never wanted to let him down, so I've been keeping it a secret for a long time. Now that Jack is a mega super hottie superstar, do you think that you should share in his fame and fortune? Actually, I think that I should get all the fame, because it was me who climbed the beanstalk first, because Jack was scared. If Jack hadn't made me stay by the beanstalk, I would have found the crock of gold. What's the next step for you now, Sammy? Well, I'm planning on auditioning for the lead role in Peter Jackson's Beanstalk trilogy, and the truth will finally come out. You wait, Jack. You wait and see who comes out on top. Thanks for your time, Sammy. Now over to you, John Hickey, with a weather update. G'day, New Zealand. OK, it's shorts and t-shirts and jandals and kai tai, as usual. In Auckland, morning sun but rain in the afternoon. In Coromandel and the Bay of Plenty, light cloud with 18 degrees. In Hamilton, rain keeps your high to 18 degrees. It's a wild and woolly day for Rotorua and Taupo with minus 14 and winds up to 400 knots. Napier and Hastings equals a sunny day and 26 degrees. Now in New Plymouth, an overnight low of minus 4 brings fresh snow and skiers to your part of the country. From Whanganui to Palmerston North, cloudy with warm temperatures. In the capital, head to the beach and enjoy your sunny eye of 8, 28 degrees and an overnight low of 14 degrees. Over the Cook Strait, Nelson tops the highs with 31 degrees. That's the very first. Showers in Kaikoura break, with mid, ma, break in midday, so leave your way watching to the afternoon. In Ashburton, clear sunny skies take you to 24 degrees, but dark angry skies bring heavy rain to the west coast. Further south, thunderstorms spread inland towards Queenstown, where chilly 8 degrees brings fresh snow. G'day Dunedin, how's it going there? A reasonable day coming your way with a high of 18 degrees. And finally, cold temperatures bring snow to Invercargill and hail to Stewart Island. Well, there's a very mixed weather report from me. Must be coming from Aussie. Catch you later. Thank you, John. We'll be sure to include the sun hat and sunblock tomorrow. Well, folks, that's all from us too. We hope you've enjoyed the show, and we wish you all a pleasant evening. Thank you all for watching, and we'll catch you again next time. From the, the whole, whole team, team at Something, something Completely, completely different. different. Goodbye, and the horror. Ladies and gentlemen, Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight we have been doing an interview with a very peculiar looking gentleman. Scene one, take one. Two.